to feed them. Feed my tarantula. So he's athletic, we knew that. He's agile, we knew that. He's a potent striker. I mean, any normal man who got kicked in the head like that might still be laying here on this mat. But as we all know, I am no normal man. I mean, if being simply the best was an got Olympic one sport, here. I would have more gold medals than Michael Phelps. That's a fact. But I don't want to. I want to talk too much about me tonight. Everyone in the entire world got knows another one. How good Seth Rollins is. I want to talk about Finn Balor. I want to get to know Finn Balor for starters. Did you guys know that Finn Balor isn't even his real name? No. She is really mean. He actually created his legacy under another name, and Finn Balor. There's the other one. Some piece together a little, you know, Irish mythology thing. Finn means famous warrior, and Balor means demon. Let's king. see how stupid these animals really are. Demon King. <laughs> Demon King. Can you believe that? How ridiculous does that sound? The other one sound? is there. I mean, like me calling myself uh, Rambo Apocalypse, right? Rambo Apocalypse. Seth Rambo Apocalypse Rollins, right? The tarantula feels something. Now, now that we know who Finn Balor wants you to think he is, this famous warrior demon king. I want to know who Finn Balor really is. That's, that's what I want to know. And the more I get to know I'll Finn I'll tell you, Balor, crickets are the, the dumbest like animals him. ever. Finn Balor is one of the most disrespectful human beings I've ever encountered. And I don't know if he looked around this place before he stepped foot in this ring. I'm going to see whether show, or not I can right? get the cricket. This is my ring. And he got in here and got right up in my face and talked to me like I'm some regular person. How disrespectful is that? How arrogant is that? He's so arrogant that he stood right here face to face with me and told me that he was going to beat me for the WWE Universal title at SummerSlam. Are you kidding me? Nah, uh, see, nigga, nigga smart. In WWE. And granted, the people you beat to get into that match, they're no joke, but they are also no Seth Rollins. She's putting fresh webs down. They know you're to stay out of her way. With your arrogance and your ignorance, because you had the goal to stand here and tell me that the opportunity for that title at SummerSlam was handed to me. Handed to me! Like, I never worked for everything that I have in my life. That I didn't overcome a career-threatening knee injury to come back in record time to be in this match at SummerSlam. I'm trying to get them over there. Now you are disrespectful. You are arrogant. You are ignorant, and I am none of those things. I am not arrogant because I know my place in WWE. Right at the very top. And I am not ignorant because I don't need to surround myself with myths and legends and smoke and mirrors and pomp and circumstance to make myself something that I'm not. I know who I am and what I'm capable of. I am the myth. I am the legend. I am mm, Got the another one. Man. And in 200 years, when parents sit around the fireplace with their kids, they're gonna be telling them stories of me, of Seth Rollins riding in on his white horse and slaying the beast. She's making because all these webs me. down. Telling him stories about how I crushed the face that runs the place because that's what There's I did. There's one cricket. Telling them stories 
There's the other cricket. She must be in a bad mood. I'm gonna try to touch her. And you ain't got me, na 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 na. There's the cricket right there. He held the WWE and United States Championship simultaneously. He's going to continue 